Hello folks, we're back and continuing here and we did our void forms here so now we're going to go over and look at creating a new family type. So let's go over here in our browser and go to new family. Okay, so again we get this dialog box here. I'm going to just slide all this over. This is metric. Uh, we want to go to English Imperial here. This is 2023. I don't know uh, why they did it this way this time, but okay. But this is how you get to your Imperial English families. So here I want to go and look at another we another family type, and it's going to be a column. So let's see. Go to structural here, stiffener. Where's column? Okay, let's just, here we go, right here, column. So we're going to go hit open. Okay, so now in this family template, we've got the predefined value uh, parameters already set here. Uh, they didn't do this before. Uh, so here we look at our properties. Okay, we've got our two parameters already set. And we'll say okay here. Just cancel it. So now, to do a column, we'll go into our extrusion here. And we'll just pick these lines and we'll click the little lock button so they'll lock. Then we'll just clean this up here. Now this template is a little different. Okay. And then we'll finish it. Now, we want to go and look at this in our front view. Okay, now, as you see in the front view, it has a predefined parameter, which is uh, the upper level, which is going to be managed or controlled by the level. So I'm going to just align this. Okay, so that's it for that. Uh, let me show this in 3D view. So there's our column. Now you can apply materials to this. We all know how to do that and everything. So let's go look at this in our reference level and see how this guy works. It is flexing and everything. So we've got the front view. Okay. Now, that's basically it for the column. Uh, now, what we can do here now, we can go and change, make use this as a type parameter or a type family. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna open up a project. Actually, I wanna show you something that we could do. Well, I'm gonna open this project first. Let's go on a new project and we'll go with Imperial Architectural Template. We'll say OK. Now I'm going to window tile these. So now we can get creative with our column as well. Um, you know, we can go and um, let's, still go, let's go grab that boy we made earlier. So I'm going to go insert, just to show you how to do this, insert, I'm going to load family, and we're going to go get that boy thingy here, we're going to open it. Now I hope, I think it's in this one. And then what would you do, you'd be to activate that view and go into families generic models and there's our boy so you can take him and just drag and drop it right into that column there and then what we can also do here let's cancel that out we can go into the properties and adjust this uh, let's just make it a 6 by 6 
tag. So okay, so now let's load this column into our project now. Okay. So this is basic stuff. Load in the project. I'm gonna say okay here. And I'll just place that column right there. Okay, so now you're going to have multiple columns as well. So let's go to 3D view here. And then again, we'll go and look at this uh, elevation view in the project environment. And there you see the columns are controlled, the height are controlled by the level. So now let's go in here and look at, let me just tab these views. Now make this shaded. Okay, now these three columns, so what we can do also, we can select these columns now and go into our properties and we can edit this type. And we can, I, I would rename this guy something else. I would just call it uh, column. No, actually this is what I'll do. I'll rename it what it is. Cancel this. What size is this column here? Let me type two and it is a two by two. So I'm gonna rename this. Two by two. And I'm gonna say okay. So there's a two by two. So I'm gonna take this guy now. I'm gonna edit him. I'm gonna duplicate this. Let's go by four by four. And I'll change the size to four by four. Okay, so there's our four by four, and then we'll select this one. Edit type. We'll duplicate it, and this will be a three by three. So this is just an example of how you would do family types and when you would use the different type of uh, parameters. Okay. So now we have our three different type columns. We got a little issue with our block thing, but that has to be fixed in the family environment. But that's it, guys. I just want to show you a quick little view of how you make columns and how to use these other family types. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Everybody, bye and be safe. Take care, y'all. Please subscribe.